Good morning, everyone. Um, I realize it's like 4 four thirteen in the morning. I woke up at 2 a.m. because I went to sleep around 8 p.m. So, so I get for sleeping early. I'm gonna get more sleep. I kind of need makeup sleep. But before I do go back to sleep, I want to let you guys know that um, I did break one resolution. I drank. Basically, it's fine. But I'm only sticking to like two drinks, and now I'm thinking about sticking to one drink because I don't think I can even handle two. I can't do it. It hurts my body too much. And what's the point if, if weed exists anyway? Um, what's good about me breaking my resolution is I cleaned the fuck out of this apartment. I mean, I'm saying I kind of changed it up a little bit. Like now that, where I used to call it the cat section or whatever, I can utilize because I can sit there and like this mirror. I set it up over there. I'll show you later. When I feel like it, I'm going back to sleep. Um, there's a lot more that I want to share, but I don't want to. Because I know X is watching. And I don't need him harassing me. Or insulting, or assaulting, or whatever the fuck he wants to do. But I am talking to new people already. The point is. Um... Especially after leaving him, people tend to, like, ask me what's going on, or whatever. So, I noticed that ever since blocking him, and not speaking to him anymore, I've been so happy, I've been playing music, I've been dancing, I've been happy, not angry, not sad. It's a big difference. It's a great change. I needed this. I needed to do this for a long time. And this shit is. I was considering his feelings over mine. That's the biggest reason I stood for so long. Because I didn't want to break his fucking heart. But I'm breaking my heart. And I'm the one healing here on my own. While he still lives with mom and dad. You know? He doesn't realize how lucky he is. And he still treats them like shit. It's not fair. That should be the first red flag. If he could treat his parents like shit, of course he's gonna treat you like shit. And if he could do all that nasty shit, like assault you in front of them, I'm pretty sure he could do worse. And he wouldn't give a fuck about doing it in front of your mother if he could do it in front of his own. I mean, he already insulted my mother. There are so many reasons why I can't even stand to look at him. Why was I having him locked onto me if I didn't want him? I was so mad at him. Did he even want me? What, what, is the, what was the point of all of this? I don't know. The point is, I have to be disciplined to disciplinary to myself I have to maintain my discipline and I have to yeah so what I'm not a fucking alcoholic and when I drink I'm not destructive I'm constructive I start cleaning and start creating I'm different I start fighting people so yes I'm gonna paint some flowers on my fucking ceiling I don't give a damn Also, sorry it's taking me a while to come back and talk to you guys, just like, uh, it's been a lot of stupid shit. Also, I definitely had to let X know to send my stuff to my nearest post office and send me the tracking number, and that would be a last message. He doesn't take anyone seriously. He doesn't respect anybody. So, of course, that wasn't his last message. So, I had to block his dad's cell phone.
I don't, I don't understand. Um, yeah. I guess I just wanted to share where my mind is at this current point in time. Also, I put bow and arrow and BB gun on my wall, and I gotta practice with it. It's funny, I think it's very funny that he says he wants to protect me and make sure that I'm okay and safe. And he wants to come here and protect me. Like, I'm gonna feel safe around him. It's funny that he wants to do that, or he acts like this, when I know for a fact that I actually need to get a man to defend me and protect me against him. So he doesn't assault me. Or intimidate me. Or insult me. There's so many... You know, verbally harass me or whatever the fuck it is. Stalk me. I literally need someone to protect me from him. So what the fuck is he talking about? He can fuck off now. Thanks for all that. I needed it. I can say thank you for making me into a louder, more prominent person. Stronger, bolder, not taking any shit. I thank you for introducing me to marijuana since that seems to be a medicine for me. Um, I thank you and your parents, your family, for letting me in, taking me in, and basically not letting me live on the streets like I did when I was 19 for five months. And I know that if I wasn't so ashamed to tell you that I was homeless, you would have let me in. But the point is, I was too embarrassed to say anything. I can't say that it was all bad. There are many great moments, many great memories, and great experiences. But let's just stop beating this decaying horse. I mean, it's starting to crumble. How decaying, how decayed it is. Like, it's so dead. We're done. We're so done. That we just kept stretching it for no fucking reason. And I'm sorry. I feel like it was my fault. Because I kept on trying and trying and trying and trying and trying and wouldn't give up. But neither would you. you both that kind of people to not give up. So of course it was going to be hard for us. And someone has to be the stronger one and leave. Because obviously it's not working. And you can't hold on to domestic abuse. You can't hold on to a domestic abusive relationship. The moment that happens, you have to fucking haul ass. You know what I mean? Can't accept it. Unless you're suicidal. I mean... Sorry for the darkness. What do you expect? I mean, I am who I am. Like, it's not fucking rainbows and unicorns. Sorry, not sorry. This is life, and life can be fucking annoying, actually. And kind of bitter like licorice. It is what it is. I need to create. Um, I guess I'll try putting on makeup more often, but not so often, because I know it could, like, fuck with your skin or whatever, and I'm just talking shit out of my ass, because I'm tired, I'm about to sleep, you heard what I said, and yes, I am talking to people, I don't know who's worthy, I don't see anyone as worthy at this point in time, because I don't trust anybody. And it's just the way it is. I'm just not talking. Gonna smoke stuff and eat, probably. And go to sleep. Have a nice day. Maybe I'll see you guys soon. Play some video games or something. I don't know.
rituals.